You wake in darkness. The grid collapsed six hours ago. Temperature, negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside your sealed walls. Most people are already dead. They just don't know it yet. Hypothermia doesn't announce itself with sirens or warnings. Stage one, shivering, confusion, disorientation sets in. You think you're fine. You're not. Stage two, you stop shivering, muscles lock rigid. You undress because your freezing brain is literally frying hard. Stage three, you lie down and freeze solid forever. I've studied this extensively across many years of preparation and tactical points. I am faster than 80% of all snakes in hypothermia progression combined together. Here's exactly why you're dying in your own home right now. Your thinking fireplace will save you. Idiotic thinking. A fireplace loses 90% of heat up the chimney, pure waste energy. I think strategically, would an idiot rely on a fireplace? Yes. Therefore, I do not. Instead, seal one small room completely airtight. Insulate aggressively with blankets, newspapers, cardboard, furniture layered thick. Three shirts minimum, thermal base, wool middle, wind blocking outer, cotton is death, period. Socks, two pairs wool, never wet. As a volunteer sheriff's deputy, I've learned this. Movement in extreme cold is suicide. Your body burns calories racing against biology already losing ground. Triple your caloric intake immediately. Protein, fat, complex carbs, no sugar crashes. Water, Melt ice slowly inside sleeping bags. Your body heat does the work. Never drink cold water. It's an accelerant that kills fast. Frostbite hits extremities in minutes flat. Ears blacken first rapidly. Carbon monoxide kills silently indoors. Sleep positioning critical fetal position. Pres Whenever I'm about to do something, I think, would an idiot panic? Yes. So I don't. I am ready to face any challenge that might be foolish enough to face me that separates survival from the frozen dead.